The country of Switzerland is known for many things. Fresh air, high mountain alpines, the banking industry, and a high quality health care system. The Red Cross, a symbol to represent medical aid workers, is also used for the country's flag. The World Health Organization, a specialized agency of the United Nations that acts as a coordinating authority on international public health, is located in Geneva, Switzerland. And in Switzerland, internet access for educational institutions is provided for free. The Federal Department of Public Health in Switzerland prefers LAN, wired connections, to wireless. The Swiss government and the World Health Organization share the largest microwave research studies, and some of these studies are showing adverse effects. By having such a close association with the World Health Organization, what has the Swiss government learned about Wi-Fi that we are unaware of? Cell phone radiation is mainly limited to the duration of the call. However, if you live close to cell phone towers, you are exposed to constant microwave radiation from the antennas. Here, I am measuring the constant radiation emitted by the cell phone antennas on top of this apartment building. And, as you can see and hear from our microwave meter, the intensity is quite high. These high levels of microwave radiation that are used to connect our cell phones can also be found in our homes. They are generated by cordless phones, cordless baby monitors, and Wi-Fi base stations. Hi, my name is Magda Havis. Today we're going to look at some of the equipment in your home that emits microwave radiation. And we're going to start off with the Wi-Fi base station. This is a Wi-Fi base station and it sends information wirelessly to your computer. In the back, it's connected by Ethernet to your modem. It's going to connect wirelessly to your computer, your iPhone, and your iPad. And all of these devices communicate with each other using microwave radiation, and this is what we're concerned about. We can measure this microwave radiation on a scope looking at the waveform. This gives you the actual radiation level, and sometimes it goes so high we can't even read it. Here we can see it. Red is showing danger, yellow is caution, and green are the lower levels. And we can hear it. When the Wi-Fi base station transmitter is turned on, it is constantly sending out a beacon signal, 10 times per second. And this is the radiation we need to be worried about. The constant pulsing digital frequencies that are sent out by the base station, whether or not other devices are connected to them. And when we unplug the base station, the radiation stops. You are exposed to an even greater level of radiation generated by your Wi-Fi enabled device, such as an iPad, smartphone, or laptop computer when downloading and uploading information. The closer you are to these devices, the higher your exposure. Indeed, the microwave transmitter may be handheld, iPad or smartphone. It is this direct contact that worries the Swiss government, and I will quote from their health department website. Quote, Caution should be exercised primarily when using devices held close to the body, such as laptops, PDAs, and internet telephones. According to the studies by health authorities in Switzerland, holding a laptop or a smartphone or an iPad in your hand is comparable to placing a cell phone to your ear. Swisscom was so concerned about the effects from long-term exposure to pulsed Wi-Fi radiation from their internet provider services that they filed a patent with the World Patent Office that demonstrates a method to eliminate the radiation that constantly broadcasts from Wi-Fi base stations when not in use. Here we have the base stations for two cordless phones. This one is a 2.4 GHz digital phone, and this one is a newer model, a 6.0 decked phone. Both of these phones emit microwave radiation as soon as you plug them into an electrical outlet. Let's hear what they sound like. And this is comparable to bringing cell phone towers into your home. The current cordless phone base station that are sold in North America are constantly emitting microwave radiation as long as they are connected to electricity.
One of the most disturbing products is the wireless decked baby monitor, whose base station emits a beacon signal all the time, just like a cordless phone. Imagine a cell tower placed a few feet away from your baby's crib, constantly broadcasting microwave radiation. Additionally, the receiving end is also constantly broadcasting radiation, and the receiver is usually clipped to a mother's waist, constantly irradiating her body. Medical authorities are telling us to limit our use of cell phones and not to have them in contact with our body. In this case, the baby monitor is in contact with the mother's body all day long and beside her bed all night long, constantly emitting microwave radiation. In Switzerland, the health authorities recommend that only sound activated baby monitors be used. This limits the radiation to the infant, to the mother, and to others in the home. Why does Switzerland warn its citizens about the dangers of these devices? What do they know that we don't know or are not being told? Perhaps we should follow their lead.